Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. I hope you're all well and you've been enjoying the weekend. Recapping from last time round, we built this little semi-professional football club, football ground, whatever you want to class it as. Obviously it's not a proper Premier League stadium, very small scale and I think it turned out pretty good. I think we got the scaling right, I think the surroundings worked. Um, I think all in all it worked out really well a lot of you guys as well left some very nice comments indeed as well regarding this uh, this episode so thank you very much for that and please do keep those comments coming guys I do read them all a very interesting comment we had was from Jack as well who said he's actually played at the Newport ground a few times which is really really cool knowing that someone has actually seen this in real life is you know always an incredible thing to feel when you play this game I'd also like to say to Alex, I did actually test the height of um, of the barrier as well, as you can see in this shot. So don't worry, the coaches do make their way there. And an incredible comment as well from Derek, and very factual actually, about the dodgy burger van that is lacking in this build. So I'm going to actually see if I can find one and um, plop it down just for you, Derek. So thank you very much for that. And thank you to everyone who does comment on these videos. I do read every one and I do reply to every single one I can. Now we are moving over slightly from the football grounds. We'll be working on the Newport supermarket. Now if you are a member of the Discord or you follow me on Twitter, you'd have seen a few little sneaky teasing uh, screenshots for this. And I did sort of mention it in the premiere of the last video as well. And a lot of you have been quite excited it seems to see this. and. Um, Looking back, I've actually realised I've never built a UK supermarket. Which is a little bizarre because my first series I did on the channel was the British Challenge and um, I don't think I ever did a proper supermarket or a big huge car parking um, lot as well. So this was a first for me and um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I really enjoyed doing this. It's a build that I've not really thought much into. I've pretty much use Google Maps to see the sort of mapping out of this particular one, which is an Asda um, in Newport. And I've just kind of done my own little flair and take on this, which was um, which was fun to do. Um, I mean, I did, never thought I'd have so much enjoyment of just placing down car parking spaces and um, mapping out a sort of a, a big car parking lot, which is um, so quite bizarre. But that does go back to my question last week as well in the previous video about do you guys enjoy doing the road infrastructure, the roundabouts and all of that side of things of the game? Is it something you actually enjoy doing? Is it something you enjoy watching? And a lot of you guys have suggested you do actually really enjoy that, which is really cool because obviously my channel has been a lot about detailing and not so much recently as opposed to sort of road network layouts and uh, and the like. So if it's something that does interest you guys, I will certainly look to do a lot more videos like that. But we had a nice few comments. We had a comment here from Paul, who suggests he loves doing road infrastructure and he's currently doing the Oslo project and micromanaging the roundabouts is the best part. And I have to agree, the roundabouts I did in the previous episode were really fun. And because they're two different types of roundabouts, I had the benefit of both types, you know, a small short one and then more of a, almost like a dual carriageway, sort of almost motorway like roundabout, which um, again was really, really interesting to do. And we also heard from WJ Koopman, who you may remember won the recent village build off as well. And, he mentioned about enjoying building the road layouts and also he's very similar to me it seems in terms of not wanting to use these roundabout pre-builders mods that you can use which don't get me wrong I'm sure they are fantastic for a lot of people but I prefer doing it by hand it seems a lot of you guys also do indeed. So in going back to the build the Newport Asda is what I would class as a very generic and common um, supermarket in the UK and what I mean by that is there's obviously a big car parking space you have the main store itself there's normally a backside to that store where you have the lorries coming in dropping off the goods or perhaps there's the, um, the delivery service which is parked out back but also there's always a petrol station on board and the petrol stations are normally linked to the supermarket so you know my Tesco's would have a Tesco's garage there waiting um, I couldn't quite do the same here because Asda don't have, well there's not an Asda asset on the workshop for a petrol station so we went with a Shell one which, you know, 
fits the same theme of color, <laughs> which is all good. Um, but yeah, that's a very common thing to see here in the UK. You do tend to see petrol stations alongside supermarkets and typically supermarkets tend to be off of like a main road or the main high street or maybe just off a junction because it's where the, I guess, you know, you, you gain the most momentum of people passing through and you're going to get more people actually wanting to go to the shopping location, which um, makes sense, of course. Now, I wanted to also make this area look a little bit more pretty. I mean, obviously the car park itself, you can't really do too much with it. Um, I mean, the detail, the textures that we're using are perfect already, uh, but you can't really spruce up a car parking lot, really. Um, and, you know, I'm not expecting it to look beautiful. It's a car park. It's not, it's not something that's going to look amazing. But I decided to put down this floor in, um, the concrete floor in, just to bring out the look a bit more about the um, the Asda itself because you do tend to have a nice sort of location for these supermarkets obviously nice and to try and well try to keep nice and clean and a lot of them nowadays the newer ones are a little bit more upper market in terms of how they've been designed there's nice trees around and um, it's always kept as clean as possible so I wanted to give that feeling off here with this Asda and you'll see there I've actually started to place down some of the um, Asda vehicle props as well and these are the home delivery service which is quite a big thing now in the uk certainly even more so recently um during these times of the coronavirus the the, the fact of having these um, home deliveries obviously avoids people to come into the supermarket so these are very key and it's going to be something that will be you know becoming popular more and more as time goes on so i wanted to have a little um a little lot here at the back of the asda next to where the lorries will come and drop off the goods but this is where the vans all stop and get stocked up and um, sort of you know park outside so that's what i wanted to try and achieve here i normally um when i'm building these sort of builds i normally have all of the assets and props laid down somewhere for me to sort of pick cherry pick them out as i'm building but with a car park and a supermarket there isn't a lot that you can really add to it we've got obviously here these trolleys and the trolley bay i mean that's one different sort of thing you can add in as a, a detailing extra but other than adding the cars and maybe a, a bit of a you know detailing around the actual stores and trees and different pavement there's not too much more you need to really add in these supermarkets but having said that you can still create some really amazing looks into these supermarkets just by adding these small little details I mean, you you know, when you drive to a supermarket, you're not expecting to see anything amazing or you know, fascinating. You don't go there for a particular reason other than to buy your food. So I wanted to give that filling off here, but I wanted to still make it look a little bit more respectable by having um, these little planters outside with trees in, just to create a bit of a nicer atmosphere to it. And I think it really does bring out the build a lot more than um, not having this available. It really does add a little bit to it and makes it feel a little bit more realistic it doesn't feel like it's just been plopped down and you know no care or attention has been added so i've just done a few little things like this added a few little benches as well and some bins etc just to you know bring things out and make it feel a little bit more i'd say homely but a supermarket isn't really homely is it but i think you get the idea i'd also like to draw your attention to the actual building itself so this building was created by Rick4000 and it was created back, I think, in 2016. But look at it. It still looks like it would be released today on the workshop and everyone would be like, wow, this is amazing. The detailing level of this building just is phenomenal. It just really does look great. And I dread to think what it would look like today with Rick building it again um, with his new learned techniques and whatnot. But the building itself, you can't tell it's that old i mean some assets in the workshop back in 2015 are you know the quality is not quite what it was or is today but these really do still fit in so so nicely really really fantastic modeling as well and um yeah i was quite surprised when i looked at it to realize how um how old it actually is now a four-year-old asset really is sticking to the you know the high um, expectations that people tend to see now in the workshop which is fantastic so if you're looking to build yourself a supermarket definitely check out rick 4000's workshop assets so you've just seen i detailed the
petrol station. Luckily, these petrol stations are really well detailed to start with, so we didn't have to do too much work. I did want to make a pathway from the car park to the train to the um, petrol station because you do tend to have the two combined in some way, um, and a route to get to one to the other is you know more than necessarily needed in this instance. So we um, added that there just to add again to the realism. And now we're just putting down some extra markers and lines just to make things look a bit more sensible and give a, a more defined layout to the to the location as well. I did do one-way lanes through here as well, so technically when the vehicles come through, it will work realistically. Um, and I'm not sure if I showed on camera, but I also did use the traffic manager to remove the fact of having cars going down this particular part here because this is only accessible for um the workers and employees of asda i'm also trying to think if i have done any po in this particular build and if i end up doing the po this might actually be one of the first episodes without any po being put down which um is yeah that's not normal for me <laughs> which um i guess that shows you know that po doesn't need to be needed in every single build but yeah, let me know if I have used PO because I'm not sure if I have in this build. Let me know. Now this is a feature that I absolutely adore. I have so wanted to use this metal fence for so long, but it's never suited. It's always been that really bright white gray color, which never suited up against the other fences. And now we can change it with um, move it. Boy, does it look good. I am so happy just the fact that you can do that now because it, it really does change the way you play this game and how simple was that it's, it's crazy now that these mods are available to allow us to do these sort of things with a click of a button literally it's absolutely astonishing now a uk parking lot or car park whatever you want to class it as would not be one without speed bumps i know they were pain in the bum but you wouldn't tend to go to a supermarket now certainly not a recently laid modern one without having some sort of um, speed bump or deterrent to stop people driving too fast around the car park so yeah we had to put them in we had to <laughs> For those of you who have been following the channel for quite some time, you'll know that recently we have been looking at the opportunity to allow you guys to build something for the series. Now, I decided on a farmhouse because it's a relatively small build and quite easy for me to deploy on the island. And well, I wanted to get you guys involved in the series a little bit more. So if you are interested in building something like this, check out the description details below on how you can do so. This week we have a build from Senpei. Now this is a little bit larger than uh, what we were expecting, but this is fine, this is fantastic. It's almost like a little hamlet with a few little houses around. But the detail levels of this are astonishing. A few farmhouses around, there's a little pond there which is really cool. And well, there's so many different segments in this little build. It's, it does really tell a different story for each. I really do love this little shotgun up here. There's a little flower shop with the back garden there. With an arrangement of flowers so that really creates a really nice sort of village feel which i really really do like and another thing that's been added it's something that's going to actually change the way i build this area because there's a little stream going through here and i really did like it, it works really well and i'm going to carry that stream through this area and see what else we can do so thank you very much for that submission fantastic work So back into the build now this segment here i'm not sure how easy it's to see from the angles i'm showing this in you'll be able to see a bit better from the cinematics but the actual approach of where the asta is built is on a higher level terrain than the rest of this area so the football pitch is actually further down the roundabout itself you come to you have to go up this little slope to get to the actual um supermarket and i really like that idea it's how it is in real life and 
I wanted to try and recreate that as best I could because I really like that flow of a road going up and round and you know above the terrain. It really does look really good, I think, in my opinion. So we're using these barriers here just to almost define that fact as well by showing, obviously, you know, for a bit of safety, there's a barrier there because there is a drop down here for car wars to happen to go off the edge, sort of thing. So I wanted to keep that there and make the realism a bit more well believable I guess and it is interesting what a difference just adding in some of these barriers makes to a build it does really change the look and feel of the area it kind of brings a bit of reality into the the build as well now I wanted to create almost like an overgrowth area here of just trees and bushes and shrubs not something that's you know particularly taken care of it's almost been planted many years ago and sort of left to do what it wants to do sort of thing so I wanted to try and create a few different combinations of weeds and flowers and grass and add them all down sort of in various locations and I think the combinations I've managed to achieve here really work well in this area especially these sort of whitehead flowers and weeds adding them all around as best we could not to go too over the top because one the frames will die on us <laughs> um, uh, also secondly it doesn't look as realistic if you add too much in one place so I wanted to try and create that as best I could and I think it looks really really good when you zoom in at ground level boy does it look realistic and this is something you would tend to see quite a lot in the UK probably a lot over Europe as well but there are these sort of areas where it's kind of almost like a wasteland, like the middle of this roundabout, for example, it's too big to really do anything too, too interesting. You couldn't really do a feature point to this roundabout because there's too much of it. So you will find on these sort of locations, there's either a big sort of bush area or there is just grass. And obviously where there's grass and it hasn't been tamed for too long, you will tend to see weeds pull up and few little flowers daisies maybe or so so I wanted to try and create that feeling and I really like it as well it does really feel British to me and it again tells a story it makes things feel a bit more realistic and I think when you're using these grass decals and the smaller weeds for example it doesn't overpower the build like I didn't want these particular parts of the build to be too overpowering it was almost like just a bit of a background noise that when you're looking at certain parts of the map over here it kind of just you know just feels like there's something there because sometimes if you just rely on the theme it doesn't tend to work too well for me perhaps it does on other themes but for me I'd much rather put down some trees and some weeds etc so this is kind of the last part of the build now. We're just adding in this extra back road, which is where the lorries would end up going and following that route through to drop off at the Asda. And obviously the, the home delivery vans will pass through here as well. So just a little sort of one way road system, which only these vehicles are, are meant to be using um, in this area. So that is pretty much it for today. Um, really, really enjoyed this. Like I said, first time I've ever done a supermarket build and I actually did really really enjoy it it took a little while to um, map out and work out what I was going to be doing because like I said a lot of my builds I kind of have a palette of assets and mod uh, sorry assets and props that I'm going to be using but for this there wasn't so much to use so it's a bit more making making the most out of the terrain and some trees and foliage um, to sort of really make this come to life but uh, yeah really really happy with how this come about have you guys built a supermarket before let me know in the comment section below and how well did you think yours came out be glad to hear from you but other than that guys we're gonna end this with a couple of cinematics at ground level to see in a bit more detail what we have built today but other than that, thank you all very much for watching today. If you are a fan of the channel, you enjoyed this episode, please do hit that like button and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the next one. Next time, we are going to be working on something nearby, but very different again. So make sure you do not miss that. 
Check out my social media platforms for any updates and teasers, and I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Thank you all very much. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching, and all the best.